how is this relevant to us as Westerners? Well, there are a few things out there that have to be talked about. And the first is that this is simply more evidence that the Chinese government is, well, you know, communist. And how so? In the end, there's no external governing body that is in control of publicly traded companies in China. You know, like we have here in America, you know, the SEC, the Security and Exchange Commission. This shows that in a single second, the government can single-handedly remove a company without reason, really. And they can do so and punish all investors in the market at the same time. The issue with that is this time, the investors are not just Chinese people. They're also Westerners. The IPO of Didi was the largest for any Chinese company in recent times in the amount of $4.4 billion. Basically, yeah, this company ended up taking billions of dollars and, well, Westerners took the dump. The claim from the government is that, as always, you know, that they're collecting people's information illegally, which is hilarious considering the circumstances, because any of us that have lived in China for any amount of time know that WeChat or Alipay collects thousands of times of more information, and uh, yeah, pretty much. And that, you know, basically it just shows that they can do this simply a week after Didi goes on the New York Stock Exchange, and uh, again, they can just take billions of dollars anytime that they really want to. You see, this is another case of China saying that it's personal affairs, you know, to stay out of its personal affairs, uh, when really, of course, this affects the entire outside world. Again, this is just another case of the communist government flexing its muscles, and uh, once again, all the tech companies in China letting them know, putting them on blast, that, uh, well, China's a communist country, and that China is ruled by communism and will continue to be ruled by communism. That there is, again, no freedom, no rights, no expression. And that I'm sure someone like Jack Ma understands this very well. I never worry about the regulation. Why not? Because I know I'm a good boy. Well, I've interviewed Jack Ma at least four times over the last 25, 30 years in 2005. And this was still at early goings for Alibaba. I asked him how he stays ahead of the regulators, and he says, And the government will love me because, you know, I'm helping them to create a business. He had that brashness back in 2005. So that brashness has now come back and kind of nipped the showman in the rear end. After all, if you remember when Jack Ma was critical of the Chinese government, uh, they essentially kicked him out of his own company and, uh, you know, basically just did some good work on his company and, and stopped IPO and, and things like that. Again, completely unfair completely unjustified and uh, you know of course the Chinese government can just do this again and again and again and so the question is when are people going to learn when are Chinese people going to wake up and see that not only do the companies in China have no power that the people have no power and when companies have no power then people have no power there's no freedom of being able to conduct business there's no freedom of trade with China there's no freedom of speech there's no freedom of religion there is absolutely no freedom in China, okay? When it comes to freedom, you're only allowed to do what the government says you're allowed to do. And that government is communist. And communism will continue in China to rule over the people and the companies of China. I hope you enjoyed this Five Minutes with Prime video, which is a new video series I'm doing of five minutes or less. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.